Welcome to Build Your Dream Network. I'm Kelly Hoey. I see people struggling to connect effectively all the time, so I created this podcast to help you master your network building needs. Whether you're seeking a new job, looking for a promotion, or scaling your business, you need a network, and you're in the right place to get the advice you need. And don't worry, my advice is real. It's actionable and practical because it's the advice I follow and is what has transformed my career from the traditional to the unexpected. So let's get started. To whomever sparked the notion that reaching out to a stranger and asking to grab a cup of coffee was acceptable networking behavior. All I can politely say on this podcast is you've done a generation of job seekers and career changers a tremendous disservice. To those who continue to peddle this guidance, you're in the networking doghouse too. This advice is well-intentioned and completely off the mark, especially now. As workforces are dispersed, people work from home, and many employers have no immediate plans to bring their workforces back to an office, where popping out for a coffee could be an imaginable and typical activity. I'm going to share, with permission, an email a friend received recently from a job seeker who I am sure is anxious to find work and equally anxious to make a good impression on a prospective employer. The names have been removed, otherwise the email has not been edited. Here's the email. Hi, I thought I'd touch base on the off chance you require any support at your company. I'm open to freelance work in the short term, but keen to secure something permanent eventually. Perhaps we can grab a coffee to discuss any suitable upcoming projects that I can help to support. All the best. That's it. Okay, there was a smiley emoji at the end of the first sentence. The job seeker also attached his or her resume. Wow, is really all I can say. No detail on how his or her skill set or education align with the firm's area of focus. No mention of significant research or white papers the firm has published. Just the hope that perhaps the CEO will find the time to review a random resume all their deal flow pipeline, then schedule a coffee chat. Do you see why I'm a little annoyed with the well-meaning but foolish advice of just reach out and suggest coffee as a way to connect? Job seekers, please, please don't follow, or at a minimum, please don't rigidly adhere to the just reach out and ask for coffee networking advice. Do this instead. It's far more effective as a networking strategy for reaching out to prospective employers. First, refine your job search. Zero in on the industries or sectors you're interested in working in. You know what you want, so go for it. Two, read the news and trade publications related to that industry. Three, set up Google Alerts so you don't miss any relevant news. Four, create a list of the firms or companies in the industry you're particularly keen on working for. Five, read the news, newsletters, media mentions about those firms or companies. Now, with all this reading and research you're doing, make notes of what you're finding. Make annotations next to each company on your list. Analyze the information you're finding. Is the data revealing a way to tie your skills to what the industry is focused on or what the company is actually working on? A few more suggestions to get really granular in the moment industry intelligence, intelligence to fuel your outreach and boost the IQ of your resume. One, follow the company, firm, or industry social accounts. They all have them. See what they are talking about. Two, subscribe to corporate blogs, press releases, and newsletters, and then read this stuff. 
if they are publishing content, it means they care about the topic. Three, pour yourself your own cup of coffee at this point in the podcast and at this point in your prospective employer research to cogitate on what you've read, learned, uncovered. How can you use this information to craft a customized email or cover letter? Outreach that demonstrates to the recipient that you have an understanding of the market and market conditions they are operating in, their professional focus and areas of expertise, and how your skill set and background augments or is in alignment with their business needs. Do that, and you are more likely to land a conversation, it just may not be over coffee, than otherwise, as the invite for coffee email with nothing more, as we've already seen, results in a delete. Know this, the person you're reaching out to cold may very well need your smarts and hustle. So demonstrate that you have both by your carefully crafted, customized outreach. Here's the Build Your Dream Network bottom line for this week. Take a hard pass on well-meaning but out-of-date networking advice. Customize every employer communication and in those communications, connect the dots between your resume and the recipient's business. Don't imagine or expect that they will. Finally, do not suggest an in-person meeting. Not now, not ever. Why? The how, when, and where to get back to you is the exclusive purview of the other person. Go reimagine how you're approaching your job search networking, and I'll see you back here on the podcast next week. Thank you for listening to Build Your Dream Network. Stay connected and don't miss a networking insight by subscribing to the podcast. And while you're there, I'd love you to rate and review the show too. Are you looking for more networking advice? Pick up a copy of my book, Build Your Dream Network. It's your guide to modern networking. I'd like to hear your networking questions, tips, and ideas. Connect with me via my website, jkellyhoey.co. You'll find links to all my social media accounts, plus a contact form to email me your questions. I'm Kelly Hoey, and I'll be back again next week to tackle your networking challenges.